Well, I think one of my major concerns is uh, is about social inequalities and so um, how uh, different ways of accessing the internet and using the internet um, can actually deepen uh, social inequalities and uh, and so one one of the um, the things I'd like to uh, the internet to make better for children is to um, provide them a, a better uh, social inclusion and uh, to improve Power children. The aspect of children's internet use that concerns me the most is actually children's access to uh, sexually explicit uh, content and pornography. I think this is a very serious challenge uh, as a result, of especially the mobile mobile access, where children are sort of there are hundreds of more opportunities to access content wherever and whenever they want in an unsupervised way. And I see this as really a great challenge in terms of gender equality, fostering gender equality, and in terms of fostering healthy development of children. Well, I think the major concern is around raising awareness amongst children and young people about the potential consequences. Um, but also helping them to, at the moment, I think there's very little focus on building young people's, uh, using sense of their sense of agency and capacity online. Um, and I think that, that that's a real gap that needs to be addressed. I think that uh, we're seeing, certainly in South Africa, we, we, we're seeing the internet being used and ICTs being used to roll out health interventions, to roll out ed education interventions, and I think that, that certainly there's, there, there's an enormous potential for that to take off more broadly in the country. I think, as I said before, is the opportunities, is how they engage in a new world, and how, how these children are going to be as young adults, for example. How are they organizing now? How are they are communicating now? I'm not interested of what uh, people, or what, what media or uh, internet is, I don't know, making children do or, or influencing children. I'm, I'm more interested in what they are doing with media, with traditional media as TV and with ICT and whatever came, you know. So more and more we're finding that children um, are accessing the internet through their mobile phones. And one of the risks there is that they're accessing it without any other older parent or older sibling there who's able to guide them. And without them having knowledge um, and some learnings on how to keep themselves safely, that, that is one of the risks that concerns us about that. So getting that sort of digital literacy in place um, at younger and younger ages is part of the challenge that we see. I think that the, the main concern I have is today that we have been so far much more based on uh, the, 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 the risk related to the use of internet by children, but I think that uh, what should be leading the development of, uh, of, of policy is, is how to actually support the positive side of it. I think the, there's much more positive uh, and promises around this technology than there are risks and we should not focus only on, on, that, on that risk. I've got two equally important concerns. One is, I don't think children know enough about, and parents don't know enough about, the positive stuff, the really good stuff that's out there that can make the internet the wonderful thing that we know it to be. Uh, but we know it to be because we are kind of addicted and regular users. So getting more messages out about the positive aspects of the internet very, very important. But equally, there are genuinely bad things happening to kids on the internet, and we've got to deal with those too. It's not either or, we have to do both. Yes, I think it's a great opportunity for children to really interact with each other across borders, across different cultures, across uh, socio-economic boundaries. I think it's a great opportunity to learn about different cultures, but also seek uh, education online. Uh, I think something that worries me is um, peer violence online and, and cyberbullying, for example. And sometimes I think uh, using the internet or mobile phones in different ways, children maybe may not be aware how their messaging comes across, and maybe they they are not using it in a way to intentionally hurt somebody else, but maybe they are, and I think they're sometimes not aware of it. So that worries me a lot. 
In Europe, and especially in Britain, we have um, quite a kind of protectionist atmosphere at the moment. So currently, um, even though a lot of my work I've been concerned about the risks that children face online, I'm also concerned that we're becoming so protectionist and that parents and teachers are becoming so restrictive that actually we are not really imagining very creatively what are the opportunities that children could get online and what are the ways in which a restrictive or protective approach might be really limiting their possible participation. So in terms of the opportunities, I would love to see more um, children's online activities that are creative, that are imaginative, that are stretching them, that kind of offer pathways to learning and that are not predominantly repetitive or indeed provided by the private sector. So more public investment would be Probably what concerns me most is how limited their use is in many ways. So it is limited to in terms of the activities they do. Uh, I think I would want to see them do more of uh, you know more creative activities. So actually, I think I'm going to answer this a little differently than um, because I do study uh, commercial sex trafficking and bullying and and some of the major problematic uses of internet. But the area that most concerns me is is learning. I think that we haven't leveraged the potential for learning online. And so I think that a lot of time is spent in entertainment and we could we could somehow harness that into something a lot more productive and meaningful for children.